coming in, but I'm glad you did. Let's unpack what we got at the um, curb market just then. And will you look at this very cute container? Look, it will be cute for, first of all, you could put berries in there. You could be ranch, ranch, you know. You might have to do your fingers depending on what berries you choose. But also, it would be nice for flowers, and it would be perfect for dressing. So, we will be utilizing that. And, um, hold on. Okay, let me show you what else we got. Can you sit here? Hang out right there, okay? Let's see. Um, we got, okay, so these are on sale for 50 cents for all of them. So, obviously, we're going to be having bam, 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 collard wraps for dinner, y'all. Look at that. Yes, very beautiful. And then over on the ugly table, which is where everything's half price because it needs to be eaten today and I need to eat today. So it's a perfect match. So let's see what all we got. We have yellow peppers and banana peppers of the mild kind. Mm, look at this. Do you see how this pepper right here, you can tell like it's a little swirly right there, so I'll cut that off. But this part is perfect, you see? And then what else? Oh, and the tomatoes. These were 89 cents a pound. And they smell, they smell like summertime. So anyway, um, I got these. And then I got um, some organic celery. And so what I'm thinking we'll have is like zip through the food processor, some kind of like salsa type existence. And then I'm gonna make um, a dip for that, for the collard wraps. It's gonna be some type of tahini existence because I have that new Ethiopian tahini. That stuff is really good. Um, if this airs before my review video on that, I've got a review on this tahini and it's really good. Um, it's so good that I'm yapping about it so much you're going to be thinking she's selling that and I'm really not. It's just really that good. Where a lot of times you know how tahinis can have like that little bit of bitter kind of aftertaste like. It's like not something you just eat off the spoon typically. Well, you wouldn't want to do that anyway because that's really not stretching your fat. That's condensed fat. And then you're going to eat too much fat. And then your low-fat raw vegan diet isn't going to work anymore because, hello, it's not low-fat. But um, anyway, it's really good. It's good right off the spoon, and it's very creamy and delicious. So I'm going to have something. Um, I might like to have like a ginger tahini type dipping sauce. So anyway, I just want to see, let y'all see me unpack. And I'll see you later in the kitchen of love and light. Bye. Hello again. So what we have going on so far is I had about a handful of celery. I had a couple of the um, banana peppers. The red pepper you saw me show. Um, no orange peppers. Okay, so I took those items and I zipped them through the food processor with the S blade, okay, and just until they were kind of minced, all right? And then I took two tomatoes and I sliced those really small over to the side because what's gonna happen is if you blend those in, it makes the consistency too wet, okay? So just do um, chunks, you know, about like this size, do you see? Okay, so then I have just two taste, a little bit of cayenne pepper, lime squeezed on this, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of chipotle. Chipotle, yes, I always forget how to say that flakes in there and this is what it's looking like so far okay doesn't that look good it smells so delicious because i smell the lime and you could put a little cilantro in there if you want but you realize that's really not my favorite flavor but it is great for detoxing the liver okay detoxing heavy metals and such but i just didn't really want that flavor today so now i've got my collard wraps washed now i like to use the big ones that don't have any holes in there do you see about this size right here Okay, comparable to the largest of my hair. And then what I'm gonna do is cut out the spine of this. Okay, hang on, I'll show you. Okay, hey, we're back. So I wanna show you how to roll this really good. Using a collard green as a wrap is a very easy way not to have to dehydrate anything, not to have to compromise your raw situation. And if you are eating cooked and you want to lightly steam these, it will also work. So you take your beautiful side face down so that's going to be see how this is going to turn out right here look very nice so you take that you take a sharp knife let me see if you can see 
and I think you can. Okay, now we're gonna cut the stem out because I find these to be almost impossible to digest, but we're gonna leave it intact. So we're gonna cut about maybe two thirds up. Okay, we're just gonna go right along the spine. Do you see that? And then we're just gonna cut across right there and take it off. Okay, do y'all see that? So it turns out like this, do you see? All right, so then we're gonna take one side and we're going to kind of crunch the one little spine that's left and sort of overlap it right there. Do y'all see how I'm doing that? Okay, then we're going to take um, some of our goodies and if you have something that you're putting in here like um, some of my mock hummus or mock mashed potatoes or say you're eating cooked and you have some of that, whatever you wanna put in here, but a more a dense thing like that that kind of has more stickiness to it will be even easier if you, this is new for you. So you put your goodies in there. Again, the key is to not be greedy with the goodies or it's just gonna be too fat, okay? So when you're rolling the wrap, you don't want it to be too fat. So then we have these two ends and we're gonna have to keep these together because we've overlapped, remember? So we're gonna bring that up tightly and we're gonna tuck. The key is right here is to pull and tuck your ingredients back, okay? And as you get it going over one time and you've got it tucked in there one time, then you're gonna take the sides and you're gonna pull them in. Now you're gonna have to make this more of a diagonal going up or that's not gonna stay. Do y'all see what I'm showing you right there? Okay, then we have the same thing on this side. We're gonna bring it in, okay? And I see where I have a little bitty tear in this because I cut over too much, but that's okay. Just hold it together and you're gonna roll, roll, roll. And there you go, look at that. I'm always nervous that I do this all the time and when I do it for you on camera, then that's when it's gonna fall apart. Wouldn't that stink? So anyway, as you see, and if you wanna put a little toothpick, you could. And if you wanna be really cute, you could put like a little tie thing around it. Like, not like Thai food, but like just a little raffi, a little something. But isn't that cute? Do y'all see? Very nice. And so now we have three. Shall we do it again? Hold on just a sec. Let's see here. Oh, here's a good one. Baby, baby, where did our love go? Mm, you leave me. Okay, there we go. You see what I'm doing? If the, the larger they are, the easier they are to wrap, but the other ones are not impossible. Okay, let me just talk about this too. As you're cutting down the side, okay, try to get as close to the spine as you can. And then when you do this right here, try not to cut and slice up in there like I did on that last one. That's why I had a slight tear. So anyway, it looks like this. Do y'all see? Okay. So then again, we're gonna kind of crack that little spine that's left so that we can overlap. Do you see what I'm doing? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Okay, and then if you weren't here, I would just get that with my hands, but that seems kind of tacky on camera, doesn't it? Okay, you know I'm gonna eat all these myself anyway, so who cares? I'm gonna make a sauce to go with this. Um, you could do any kind of like little nut butter sauce. You could, even if you want to just slice a thin slice of avocado in here, you could, and then everything would be, that would be a great like little travel snack or whatever. The key is not to overfill, okay? Get it all nice and condensed. Again, when we bring this up, we have to remember that that's overlapped, okay? So we want to make sure to keep that tight together. We want to pull that back, pull it back, okay? Hold on, let's start again. I lost my overlap. Don't stress, it's just a collar, it's not the end of the world, right? Okay? And after all, nobody's perfect. I'm just a girl in the world, right? Okay, so you got that, and then you're gonna roll that over. I keep on losing that. Let's see if we can roll it without um, having to redo. Okay, so you pull this in. It's all about the finger action, you know what I'm saying? Oh yes, see, I'm gonna be able to pull that over. I'm gonna be able to save this and redeem myself on the master of wrap, Tanny Roll. Look at that, see that, huh? Very nice. Let me show you something else. After you leave it sitting a little bit, you can give it a cut if you want. Let's try this one because it was sitting here a little bit. These are so cute. I'm clearly gonna have to Instagram this, right? Let's see. Um, the, the sharp knife is the key to my life. Do y'all see that? And there you go. Live from the kitchen of love and light. Bam.
Okay, y'all want to see it one more time? We've got the spine cut out. And we're going to, of course, like I said, we're going to overlap right there, okay? Then we're going to take some hand foil because that's just really how I do it. And I can't help it. Okay, again, not being too greedy, okay? Holding it tight right here. Tucking it back. Okay. And if it comes out the side right here, tuck it in too, okay? Because you need to bring these in. And see how this has to go at a diagonal or else those kind of stick out and they look, you know, not so neat, which the raw food needs to be beautiful, right? Because why not? Okay, there we go. There is another one. Beautiful. And as you see, the one cuts are ready to go. Okay, so there we have some of our wraps, as you see, ready to go. And then we can cut those in half when they're on the plate. Here is my, this has uh, about an inch of ginger. It has one lemon, one cup of the lightest parts of celery, two tablespoons of tahini, two dates, and a little bit of water, a little bit of chipotle pepper in there. And as you see, is a beautiful dressing, y'all see? For dipping. So, see you later, alligators. We're giving love.